Inside Boxing's Throwdown. My name is Steve Johnson, my co-host Aurelio Martinez. Listen folks, it's good to be back. We had to take a week off. Last week it was kind of snowy and cold here in Denver and we decided to let our everybody that's involved with uh, the Throwdown program kind of take it easy and didn't want anybody getting any accidents. But it was a good thing because this weekend um, we had some excellent fights. Of course, with that you always have some bum fights in here between you. <laughs> let's start off with the first uh, where we had in at the Manchester Arena in uh, over at the UK we had in that WBSS Super, Super, Super Series, Super Series um, we had George Grove who's also from the UK taking on uh, Chris Eubank Jr. from the UK. They're both mm -hmm. them fighting mm -hmm. in, that, in that Super Middleweight division. Um, Ray Lill, just real quick, I'll start off. The fight was an excellent fight. Excellent fight. Didn't go the way that um, most of us thought it was going to go. Thought that, you know, Chris Eubank Jr., um, his hand speed would maybe be a little bit too much for Grove. Grove handled him easily. Um, won by unanimous decision. The only really issue I had with the fight afterwards is that uh, Chris Eubanks Jr. said that he had gotten head-butted you know, numerous times in the fight and didn't know why the point wasn't taken. I didn't see that. I actually saw the fight. Um, I have to mention, once again, as I've said in the last uh, three segments that we've done, American television just completely dropped the ball on this WBSS Super 6 Series in the Cruiserweight and the uh, Super Middleweight division. Radio, we only had one American boxer in there, young Robert Grant, who, you know, from the United States and America, went over there and, and went out pretty early, but he's young, you know. And the reason I have to mention this is because later on we'll talk in our second segment about where we had, you know, we've, we've, we had Gilberto Ramirez first, super middleweight, um, excellent kid. But last night we had, had David Benavides, another super Benavides. middleweight. And both their promoters declined to put them their, these guys into this super, uh, super series, and it's a shame. Well, how do you know their promoters declined? How do, how do you know they declined? Because they offered, they put these offers out to all of these guys, and none of them wanted to accept it. Well, I, I don't know that, but because I, I do. Well, I, 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 I haven't followed the W. Uh, the, the, the World Super, Super Series, Series. Mm -hmm. but actually it's become a hot topic. That's become a nice, nice hot little tournament out there because anytime you got competitive fights, well, it's beyond happen. competitive. That's All these guys are world champions. Well, that, well, that's what that's I'm competitive. Saying. World yeah. champions, real world champions, mm -hmm. and the people that, that that have that little pride in them. Mm -hmm. um, uh, 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 not to mention that, that there's a money factor now involved that that you had talked to me about that there's, I didn't know. Yeah, the so, winner. Well, hold on, the winner. In the, in the super super middleweight division and the cruiserweight division, they're going to earn, earn upwards of eight, close to ten million dollars. That's nothing to sneeze at. No, that's that's what I'm saying. And, and, and you know, uh, the American side, the U.S. side, it's all about money. They all try to get up there and protect records to make that money. Well, there's money there, and and, and the fights are, are are like you say, they're champions. They're super competitive. So, and they've been all around the world. So, so you know, this finals is going to be in Saudi Arabia. So it's something that uh, that uh, uh, boy, it's just too bad we can't see it here on on, uh, on uh, broadcast television. Fortunately, we got live streams. You got to go find them, and I'm not going to tell you, but you know, you can find them. All you have to do is you know, you Google it. You'll find the live stream. But but anyhow, yeah, it's, yeah, okay. Uh, but let's talk about um, it, it. It it's good. It's a good. Uh, it's a it's a good. It's a series. It's a tournament type situation, yeah, it is right? A yeah, it, it's, it's a tournament. It's a tournament yes. type. So, I, I like that. I mean, I like that because very seldom do you get the high quality fighters to get involved uh, uh, with tournament style uh, uh, boxing because you don't get to pick and choose. Mm -hmm. You have to fight whatever name comes up. Mm -hmm. And uh, here in the U.S., again, they're so protective of that record, mm -hmm. you know that. Uh, they're not going to get involved in any tournament because if they get matched up with someone they don't want to fight, then they lose anyway. They get decued. And you know what? One yeah. of the most impressive things about this is, like I said yesterday, um, George Groves won by unanimous decision. Okay? No dispute. There's nobody saying that he didn't win. There's none of these fights that went on where nobody saw the guy that lost. Nobody said they saw him lose. Now, now, yeah. okay. now clarify this for me. I think before we get into our next, next subject, uh, uh, in... Wasn't there, isn't there a concern that he may not be able to continue in, 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 in the tournament? Yeah, just last night, George Grove um, looks like he dislocated his shoulder. They don't know if he's going to have to have surgery or not. Um, if he does have to have surgery, that's going to jeopardize his spot. And in okay. late May or early June when they have the finals, 
in Saudi Arabia. And there might be a little uh, controversy, uh, the only controversy is because yesterday Kelly uh, Sauerland said that if Groves can't compete, that they, that the, you know, his group will have to sit down and decide, you know, who will take his spot. For me and you, it's a no-brainer. It should be Chris Eubank Jr. Next in line. Two in the finals, Next in line, right? yeah. But we'll see how that plays out. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Uh, uh, Let's move to the next thing. Let's move to the next fight where we had um, on the Premier Boxing Champions yesterday. On Fox. Uh, on Fox, Fox, you know, Fox, uh, yeah. the first fight for, for Saturday night um, where we had in the main event, we had Victor Ortiz and, and um, um, who did Victor fight? <laughs> Devin Alexander. Come on, Okay. Man. Well, no, I'm saying that because yeah. the fight um, was, um, was it, well, you know, it was inconsequential, but let me say this. And I'll let you take it, okay? The fight was declared a draw. Anyone that has eyes could see that fight was not a draw. Devin Alexander clearly won. And after the fight, first thing out of Victor Ortiz's mouth is, is I'm ready for a rematch, a rematch, you know? I don't want to see a rematch. Devin Alexander clearly won, clearly. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. You know, I, I saw the fight, uh, and I wasn't impressed. And I think, I, I think uh, Devin Alexander just kind of... Uh, um, uh, instead of saying schooled, uh, Victor, I, I just come a little short of that, saying that he, uh, he, um, he, he, ter he carried the fight. I mean, his skill set was so much over and above as far as boxing, uh, over, uh, uh, uh Victor that, uh, it wasn't even funny. Victor was trying to land, uh, a power shot and he couldn't land a power shot. Where uh, Alexander was was moving and 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 scoring and and shooting and and picking his good shots and um, I agree with you I you know I, and I hate to be critical of judges because I'm not a judge and and it kind of irks me when when people get on the judges because there's so much of a boxing criteria that they have to look That's at. That's all you do is criticize the judges. Okay, they have to. I think there's six or seven. There's six or seven. Uh, 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 things they look at from ring generalship to to effective punching to to scoring punches uh, to uh, I mean there's there's a bunch of them and, and and judges are human they 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 are boxing fans whether they like it or not they they're in the game they're boxing fans so they all have what they want to look at what they like in boxing some like the boxing some like the slugging some like the the power hitting yeah. so you just you just never know how a judge is going to score a fight. But to score this a draw, or even to have Victor in, in the in 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 the mix of yeah, winning the yeah. fight was uh, it just it didn't make sense. Like I said, there's there's no question that that fight was not a draw. Um, the next thing is that we'll have to figure out. You know, this puts leaves both of them still, if you want to say, there's still a factor in the welterweight division. You know, but we also got to see a fight that was uh, um, I think was on that card uh, where we had. Um, what was uh, uh, the two other, the young welterweights, um, um, I can't recall their names right now. I know one was yeah, Plant. Uh, Ray Ray. Uh, Plant. Yeah, Robert, Robert Plant. Robert Plant's cousin. <laughs> where he was, no, he's not Robert Plant's yeah, cousin, before yeah, you guys said that. Where he was going Khalid against. Plant. Uh, yeah, where he was going uh. against uh, the new Ray Robinson. Okay. <laughs> and um, we'll get to see, but uh, there's a lot of names in the welterweight division. The well, welterweight, welterweight division is stacked, no doubt about that. Would you agree? I agree. It's I agree. Okay. It's stacked, but there's a there's a dividing line in there, and 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 on the top of that dividing line, you have your Spences and you have your your, your uh, Thurman, Thurman uh, Garcia, and 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 all these these guys. Sean Porter. And then there's a big dividing line, and I'm saying a big, pretty big dividing line. And then on that dividing line, you have your your uh, uh, poor uh, uh, your plants, uh, plants, and. <laughs> And uh, Victor Ortiz is then now came back in into the game, and, and of course, uh, Devon Alexander. But uh, to me, I, I'm sorry, and I have to say this because Victor Ortiz, I think the second half of that fight was fighting not to quit, okay? Because he, well, that was a good thing. He's been very criticized, yes, about once the, the rightfully the, so. Well, once, once the going gets tough, he he looks for a way out, yeah, and that's been. So that was in his mind, and you you can see it. It was in his mind. Mm -hmm. uh, so he was doing everything uh, to finish out the fight, and that kind of took away from his his actual fighting in the ring. So, right. so 
leave it at that. I think it was uh, it, it it was almost entertaining fight, but I don't think any of them two, Victor Ortiz or Alexander, can compete with the with, top guys. With the top guys. I, I just agree. don't. I agree. Okay, that's the end of our first segment. We'll come come back in our second segment where we're going to recap the fight card that was uh, last night on Showtime, mm -hmm. where the main mm -hmm. event was Danny Garcia um, taking on a. Uh, um, um, what's my boy's name? I'm having a brain lock now. Brandon Rios. Brandon Rios in the main event. But we also had a very entertaining, as we mentioned previously, very entertaining uh, super middleweight bout where um, David Benavides took on Grayville. Um, uh, we, we'll talk about that when we come back, but that'll be in our second segment. So, radio? Okay. Till then?